Heidi is joining us today to share a project that she has been teasing on social networking sites for the past few days. Did you figure out what it is? I'm delighted to welcome my sister, Eco Heidi Borchers. Hi, Heidi. Thank you. Yeah, I thought it would be kind of fun when I when I chose this project to kind of ask everyone if they realize what it really was made out of because it's made out of a a product that's actually been on the market probably for about 50 or 60 years. So um, let's get started, uh, Tiff, and I'll let you put up the picture. The product that I'm using is called Rigid Wrap and it's by Activa. Activa. And it is a plaster cloth. A lot of people, it's funny because a lot of people guessed that it was a, a plaster cloth that was like what you would put on like a broken arm. And that's exactly what it is. It's just, it's a plaster cloth, but it's been in the craft industry for many years. It's one of those products that sits on the shelf. And if you don't know about it, you just kind of walk right on by it on your, in your craft store. And I love it. I just absolutely love it. I do all kinds of things with it. So today's project, I thought, <laughs> I thought it would be fun to make it where it was on a, um, to make it eco, I was going to make it on a pizza box. And the funny thing is, is that I had a pizza box, but my husband did the recycling this week and the pizza box is gone. So let's imagine that this is a pizza box. <laughs> it's just a piece of cardboard, but imagine that it's a pizza box. So you take your pieces, you cut them how, how big you want them, and then you take them and you dip them into water and you just, um, kind of put them through the water. Now I find if you use warm water, it will set up faster and it also kind of activates it faster. If you want some of the, um, all that little holes on here, then you're gonna wanna kind of rub it a little bit. So what I do is I just, I've got it, I just brought it out of the water and you see how you can see, let's see if you can see on this one, you can still see some of the holes. Um, I like that on some of it. So I kind of um, leave it. If it's got too much holes on it, when I actually place it on, I rub my finger over it and that kind of activates the plaster. So I want a little bit of a texture on the background. So I'm just gonna, here I'm dipping another piece. And see when you first bring it out, it's really, it has a lot of texture, but if you rub it a little bit more, see how the, the plaster kind of blends in. So I like a little bit of both of that with a little bit of texture and a little bit of showing the, the plaster. Again, lay it down, kind of fold it in. And third piece on this background, this is just an eight by eight piece of cardboard that I'm using. But like I said, I would love to do it on a, on a um, pizza box. I think that'd be really cool and really nice and eco. Now for the heart, I took a strip a little bit narrower maybe about 10 or 12 inches long and I put it in. You know, the cool thing about this too is it's really a fast craft. And I'm gonna tell you a secret in just a minute too to make it even faster because people are thinking, oh, it's all wet. Okay, there's starting my heart. And you can just put it anywhere you want. Another piece for the other side of it. And I just work in strips because I find that it, it even if I want it to look like it's all one piece, if I, if I use the strips, it goes a little bit faster for me. Like that. And there is the start of my, let me get this correction, upside down heart. And then I just take other pieces and I do my little curly cues and just kind of put them in. Now here's the, the here's the coolest thing about this. Did you know that rigid wrap can be put into the microwave to dry? Yes, it can be put into the microwave. You do not have to let it sit there and dry and dry and dry. So in these cold, cold days and nights, you don't have to wait. Just put it in. So then what I do after I get my heart, I just take the edges and just fold them under because they kind of stick to themselves. If, you know what, um, Corinne, the, the um, rigid wrap is actually kind of advertised to make masks. More than anything, it's advertised to make masks. Okay, now I'm going to show you my made-up one. Let me clean up here real quick, get some of this off. Here's the one that's already dry. And I put it in my microwave a couple times for about 15 seconds. I turned it, 
And then I left, let it out just for about a half an hour and then you can paint on it. Now, I'm not gonna paint today because I think it would just take too much time. So I'm gonna show you a couple other ones. This is the one that, I, that we showed you to begin with. So what I do is I paint everything black. I paint it completely black first and then I go over with my colors. So you can see what, and this one is actually on um, a canvas, but wouldn't it be great if it was on a pizza box? Here's another one. And it's just the background. Again, it's painted black and then colors are undone over it. And then there's, you can go beyond that. Go on to, this one's kind of cool. It has, um, see if I can get my camera up a little bit. It has a palm tree and a, a mirror and it's kind of the ocean. So you can do all kinds of things with this. Now, I think that that kind of does it. If anybody, does anybody have um, any questions? Could you dip the wrap in color water? Oh, a great idea. You know what? I'll have to try that. Um, that's, that sounds like a great idea. Um, yeah, you, you take it when it's wet, like what I just did, what I just finished, when it's wet, I can stick it in the microwave, 15 seconds, um, pull it out, and then put it in for 15 more seconds, and then um, it, it's pretty dry then, you can keep doing that in, in 15 second intervals, but um, then I kind of let it out, let it sit out for about a half an hour, and then you can paint it right away, you do not have to wait overnight to, to do it, so it's a great product. Um, this one is called, again, it's called Rigid Wrap. Um, it's by Activa, and um, they are on Facebook. They also have a website. Um, they also are the makers of Cellu Clay, which has been out. It's a paper mache that's been out for years and years and years.